Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, co-author of your textbook, Microeconomics for MBAs. This video module is going to be concerned with uh, comparative advantage, or the law of comparative advantage. When I go into my MBA uh, classes, I oftentimes ask right away, suppose that I am more productive than you are in the production of coconuts, and you're more productive than I am in the production of papayas. Uh, what should we do? Well, the student's reaction is, is almost immediate and widespread. Um, I should produce coconuts since I'm more productive in coconuts, and uh, you, the students, uh, should produce papayas since the students are more productive in papayas. Uh, we can uh, trade, and both parties uh, can uh, gain uh, from that uh, trade. Uh, we simply uh, play to our uh, best advantage. Then I ask the students, suppose that um, I'm more productive than you are in both the production of uh, coconuts and papayas. What should we do then? All too often the students uh, uh, make the mistake of saying, well, a trade is impossible because I'm more productive than they are in, in everything and, and I can't possibly gain anything by trading uh, with them. Well, it was left to the great uh, 19th century economist um, uh, uh, David Ricardo uh, to show, make a point that even the great 18th century economist Adam Smith uh, was not uh, able to uh, recognize. And that is, even when one party uh, is more productive in the production of everything, uh, trade can exist between uh, two parties. We can make this demonstration with, a, with an example that is in the textbook. Uh, here we have um, uh, two traders, Fred and, and Harry. And we have two goods, coconuts and papayas, that uh, Fred and Harry uh, can produce. Fred is more productive in, in both of these goods. Fred is, uh, can produce 50 units of coconuts when Harry can produce only five in the same amount of time. Fred can produce uh, 150 papayas when uh, uh, Harry can only produce uh, 25. Uh, Fred is more productive uh, in both of these goods. We can't say that Fred is more productive in papayas than coconuts because papayas and coconuts are different uh, goods. And it could be that the, uh, Fred is actually whomping up on produ papaya production but not uh, coconut production. Anyway, we can say that Fred is more productive in coconuts uh, than Harry, and Fred is more productive in papaya uh, production than is Harry. Fred is absolutely more productive in both, but Fred has a comparatively greater production advantage uh, in coconuts. That is, Fred is ten times as productive as Harry in coconuts. Fred is only six times as productive in papayas as is uh, Harry. Fred's relatively greater uh, productivity comes in the production of coconuts. By the same token, uh, Harry has a relatively greater productivity com when compared with, uh, with Fred. Harry is only one-tenth as productive in coconuts, but one-sixth as productive in papayas. Harry's relatively greater uh, production capability lies in papayas. Uh, David Ricardo basically said that if these two parties produce the goods good in which they in which he has a comparatively greater production advantage then uh, trade is mutually uh, beneficial that is if Fred produces coconuts and Harry produces papayas then trade can be mutually beneficial and the reason is that the cost of producing coconuts is lower for Fred and the cost of producing papayas is lower for uh, Harry we can demonstrate that by saying that Fred can produce one coconut in the time that he can produce uh, three papayas. So if, if Fred produces one coconut, Fred gives up uh, three papayas. Three papayas is the cost to uh, Fred of one coconut. One coconut to Harry, on the other hand, is five papayas. Uh, the cost of one coconut to Harry is five papayas. The cost of one coconut to Fred is three papayas. So uh, Harry, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Fred can uh, produce uh, uh, coconuts more cheaply than can Harry. By the same token, every time Fred produces a um, papaya, Fred gives up one-third of a coconut. Every time Harry produces a papaya, 
uh, Harry gives up one-fifth of a coconut. So coconuts are relatively less costly for Fred to produce and papayas are, rel are less costly for Harry to produce. If Harry produces one coconut for trade, giving up three papayas, and if Harry can get more than one coconut, I mean, sorry, more than three papayas for one coconut, then Fred can gain by trade. As it happens, every time uh, Harry produces five papayas, uh, Harry gives up one uh, coconut. If Harry can give up less than five papayas for coconut, then Harry can be better off. For example, suppose that these two pe people agree to trade one coconut is, uh, for four papayas. Uh, both can gain. Fred gives up one, I mean, I'm sorry, Fred gives up three papayas to produce one coconut. He can take that one coconut down here and then trade back uh, for four papayas. In the process, Frank, Fred gains one papaya. Harry gives up one coconut to produce five papayas. If Harry then takes four of those five papayas, uh, Harry can get uh, his uh, coconut uh, back. So both parties uh, can gain uh, from trade. Actually, they can gain from trade so long as the exchange ratio is anywhere between one coconut is equal to three papayas and one coconut is equal to uh, five papayas. You will note that this, um, this demonstration is extraordinarily important uh, for public policy. So many people uh, talking from the capitals of, of world economies uh, oftentimes say, well, the Americans can't possibly uh, compete with the Chinese because they're so much more productive than, uh, than the Americans. Or the Japanese can't compete uh, with the Germans because the Germans are so much more uh, productive than the Japanese. And you can imagine uh, that story is heard around the world. What we have demonstrated here is that in spite of one uh, country being more productive than, uh, in everything than other countries, uh, that country can still gain from trade. It follows that if in fact you start uh, restricting trade based on some consideration of productivity or cost, uh, then uh, trade is likely to reduce the welfare of both trading parties, not just the country that uh, uh, imposes the restrictions. Uh, it will reduce the welfare of the other uh, countries too. Uh, thank you uh, very much.